In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple logo in Inkscape. So let's go up to File and select Document Properties. And then we're going to switch the width to 600 and the height to 400. And you can just close out of there. And then over on the left, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And we'll select the text button down here and let's create some text. I'm just going to call this simple. And then let's go up to text, hit text and font. I'm going to select this Microsoft e -Bitey. I think that's how it's, I don't know how it's pronounced. There you can see it. Hit apply, close. And let's actually hit the select button. And let's actually create this, make this a little bit bigger. And then let's go ahead and make another copy of this. And then select the text button again. And let's change the second word to logo. Okay, so now we want to make sure that both of these logos are at the same height. So if you haven't already, hit the select button. And then let's switch the first one to 250. And then let's put the second one at 250 as well. And that was the Y coordinate, by the way, uh, which is the vertical coordinate. And then let's go ahead and select both of those. And you see the hand there, that'll allow you to move both of them. And let's just center this in the middle. Now let's go ahead and work on the first word here. So you should have that selected. Let's go up to Object, and you're going to hit Fill and Stroke. And then on the second tab, you're going to hit Flat Color. Go over to Stroke Style, and we're going to increase this to 7. And that looks pretty good. OK. And now let's change the second word, so we'll select that. And let's put this at 2. And you again, have to switch the Stroke Paint to Flat Color. And there you go. So we have a little bit of a contrast here. Now let's go ahead and decrease some of the spacing between the text in the second word. So let's go ahead and select text. And this second parameter here up, up here, this double A, you can play around with this. It'll increase it if you bump the number up. If you bump it down, it'll decrease the space between the text. So let's just give this a little bit of uh, there. I think that looks, or maybe a little bit more. There, there we go. Okay, so let's scroll here to the right so we can center our logo and let's go ahead and select everything we got here and we'll just move this a little bit to the right okay so we moved that so now we can go ahead and design our symbol to the left here to give this some style so let's go ahead and select the circle here on the left and draw out a circle now also you can also if you want do this as a square whatever you prefer and then hit the select button and let's drag that circle down here and then let's go back to the fill and stroke box over here and let's select stroke paint select the box all the way to the right because we can play around with the border and then select the color that you want and that looks good now if you go over to the fill box make sure that you have flat color selected again and then select the solid color that you're looking for for the circle and that looks pretty good for me and we're all set okay so let's go ahead and copy and paste the color from the circle into the logos color so in order to do that make sure you have the circle selected go to the fill tab and let's copy the color now select the logo and go to the stroke paint tab and just copy and paste the color into there and that gives us a little bit of spice. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit select all. And let's go ahead and center this. You know, wherever you want it. Now, we're pretty much done here, but we can also add some more effects if you would like to. We can go ahead and add a gradient. And so let's go back to our stroke box and hit linear gradient. And then hit edit. And you'll hit this drop down box and you'll see two colors here. The first color, we're going to make white. And then the second color, we're going to make white as well, but we're going to go ahead and make this transparent and then exit out of there. Now, go ahead and hit the linear tool over here and drag the one on the left to the top and the one on the right to the bottom. Good. And let's go ahead and reselect this and put the opacity. You can play around with the opacity that you want this at. Uh, I'm going to put this at around 33. 
but you can play with that you may want that lower you may just want I, I'm gonna stick it around like I said around 33 and so that's a nice little effect one note before we go you could actually resize all this to where you want it once you have these separated like this you can go ahead and you know we could drag this over here now you see how you can play around with this stuff okay well that is pretty much it please check out the rest of my videos on my YouTube channel EJ media